Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Monday 14th of June 2022 and I keep getting asked questions about the motor I'm using on the wind turbine so I just thought I'd try and address a few questions. The first one is what exact type of motor is it? It's a 48 volt 1000 watt front wheel bike motor hub and you'll notice the front wheel bit's quite important because I believe that makes the spindle shorter. It was a motor that I had used on an electric bike with a standard kit, but you need to have quite a heavy battery for it. So one day I just decided to try using it in a wind turbine and the rest is history, as they say. People ask me if I've modified the motor at all, which I haven't in any way. And people also say, why don't you take the motor apart and have a look inside? Uh, no thanks, I know exactly what it looks like. Uh, there's zero chance of me taking it apart or modifying it. It's been running on and off on the wind turbine. I'm not even sure how long now, probably 18 months to 24 months and it's still going strong you can see you can see the gear sprocket underneath the chain is connected to the exact place where you would put a disc brake on there's six screw holes in the uh, little center bit of the motor so i had to drill those out uh, perfectly and then that's bolted on using six bolts this is a side view of the motor you can see it's pretty thin i'd say it's about 70 mil. The thing I really love about this motor is it's designed to work at a fairly low RPM. So if you consider a treadmill motor that works at 3000 RPM, that makes a really rubbish wind turbine motor, whereas an electric bike motor that runs at 300 RPM uh, will deliver you a lot more power and it's a lot better choice as a wind turbine motor. The downside of this motor is it's actually very hard to turn. If you held the spindle Sorry, if you held the motor on either side with your hands or one hand and tried to turn the spindle, it's very, very hard to turn. 